It's hard to describe. When you live on a boat, the constant movement makes you tired. The boat is constantly moving and the noise, rah, boo, bah, rah, 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 back in Bundaberg, constantly, constantly, on the on the pontoon, the side of the boat was getting all rubbed up, the paintwork scuffed. Since the day I got towed in, it just never ever stopped. We had two days where it stopped. And this is the third day, just beautiful. I hadn't realized just how worn out I am, how tired. I need some peace and tranquility, please. That's beautiful. Good, I shall sleep well tonight. Night squeaky. Next morning didn't start so well, had engine problems, uh, a leaky thingy. Luckily I had a spare part, so that was okay. Had a visit from the Fisheries and Border Force people. They were just checking around the area, said hello to them. Uh, on board was also a lady that checked me into the country. So it was nice to meet up with her again. Uh, said hi, we exchanged pleasantries and then they were on their way. We're getting out of here this morning and it's not gonna be easy. We've got a big problem already. Holy God. That was mad, just how tangled that was. It wasn't that necessarily that was the problem, is that I was in shallow water. So while I was fixing that, the boat was drifting. Couldn't film it, that was too intense. <laughs> go, 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 away from there. Okay, Shaddy, we're free of the land. Let's go back to sea. <laughs> I'm only halfway through my second cup of coffee. The thing is, there's the tide is coming in now. So I've got to get to the mouth of this whole estuary system and what have you uh, before it starts racing in. When it does, I'm going to be stuck here until for another six hours. But then the wind blows, changes. The wind is behind me at the moment. It's all a bit weird. And I've been watching this pattern for a few days and I need to like go, go, go now. It's super shallow, but um, the uh, tide is coming in, so we should be good. Well, oh, come on, Shetty. Bye, horrible creek with all the bugs. Never see you again, I hope. Nearly there. Secure this. Keep checking. No water coming out. Brilliant. However, thank you, Parkinson. We're sailing. Ah, uh, more coffee, 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 Vicar. There you go. All right. This is, I'm like waving the camera around because we're trying to get a feel of what it's actually like. I've got to keep an eye up there, eye down here, coffee gone. I, I pre-boiled some eggs there. So I'm going to have those in a minute. Right, got to go back up, check. I've got reef on both sides of me and I'm under sail. So I've got to take care now. Hydro vein, hydro is, is doing a splendid job. Oh no, I'm ready for a reef. <laughs> bit up, bit of that way, hydro. All right, but this is very pleasant. Yeah, we'll give it a few minutes, have a coffee break, eat my eggs, and then if we're not doing too good, I'll start the engine just to get round the point up there. That town up there that I was at before, somebody said it's a fishing town with an alcohol problem. I fitted in remarkably well there. I don't know why that should be. I'll just correct on there, tie that off. Now that you can adjust that there, there you go. Right, so that, that we'll try that. Okay, Hydro. He doesn't say much. This is a great idea. Before you set off, boil some eggs, just leave them in the pan there. Uh, hard boiled eggs, they're so easy. They come in their own wrapper, yeah. A bit of salt, which I shouldn't do, high blood pressure. 
Uh, but yeah, they're yummy. Yeah, you sort of pick these things up as you go along. But that's great because um, it's breakfast. Because you think you're, you're, you leave in the morning and it's all like da 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 da. I'm not hungry, but you will be hungry. So you need to think about what you're going to eat. And you don't want to cook. As soon as you go to sea, you might feel a bit sick. Da, 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 da. You don't want to cook. That's lovely. That's great. I'd run out of mayo, otherwise there'd be mayo in there as well. <laughs> it was then that I came across this anchorage, uh, ship's anchorage just offshore. It was huge. Uh, too far to go around it, so I had to go through it. I had to be on my toes with this one. So I'm going to have to turn soon, or I'm going to be in among them. See, one of them might want to move in a minute. So uh, I'm going to watch out for smoke coming out of the stack. I'm going to be on deck most of the day. I have to take care. There's been UV ray warnings locally. It is super, super hot out there and the rays are coming down. Lubed up. Going to change my clothes uh, to something a bit more protected. Long sleeves. And I got my Indian hippie trousers on as well. Uh, that should do the job. So fashionable. It's what every sailor's wearing these days. I've heard of these rash guard shirt things. I don't know why they call it a rash guard. It's going to be for sun. Uh, and uh, they're all like plastic and are hateful. I hate them. This is 100% cotton. That's cool. I don't know why people wear plastic clothes. Yeah, I know I'm small, but nevertheless, if you're a ship's captain and you're at anchor and there's some dozy guy coming up to you uh, in a steel sailboat, and especially if, if you've I got gas or something like that, <laughs> well, you, you don't want any sparks flying. So uh, make me make your intentions known. That's one of the, the rules of the sea. People that often don't uh, adhere to. Let people know what you're doing, then they don't get nervous. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> there was an awful lot of ships out there. And unfortunately these days, people are often worried about terrorist attacks from the sea uh, using small boats. So I knew they would probably be nervous, as nervous as I was going through them. I was busy sending a text to someone uh, and I, I uh, took my eyes off the ball just for a few minutes and realized this guy is actually pretty close to me. Well, I'm close to him. He's just sitting there at anchor. I'm the one at fault. So uh, just making sure we get around him. <laughs> That's the last one. I'm going to go behind him. But there's this fellow here. And it's really close if I can make it across his front or not. I'm still trying to decide whether to go behind him or in front. If I get it wrong, I'm going to run into the front end of a ship while it's at anchor. That can be very embarrassing. I might just go behind him just for fun. You know, decisions. How close I am on the wind. I can't come anymore to starboard. And he's there and I'm slipping sideways slightly as I go forwards. Mm, he's a big ship. See, the wind is coming from the right of the picture as you're looking at it. So I can just slip away down to the, the left, down to four. Uh, if I was up there, I've got nowhere to slip except onto his bow. That's fine. I'll aim straight for his stern and then uh, pull around as I go. I also saw smoke come out of his stack a little bit earlier, like he just started his main engine. He's also got his pilot ladder down the side, like he's waiting for the pilot to come. Uh, but it's a holiday here in Australia, so I don't think anybody's working today. But I'm watching his anchor chain. Uh, if I can hear clangity, clangity, clang, I know he's moving. But at least I'll be behind him. Uh, should be safe. A quick break from the video just to let you know I have a new single out. It's called Halfway, and it's on my new YouTube channel, Barry Sea Dog Parents. I'll be giving you information about that towards the end of the video. Stay tuned. And it's back to our story. I finally cleared the ship's anchorage. It's got a bit bumpy and we're not keeping course because it's got bumpy. The wind's dropped. So I'm trying to get down the coast, uh, come from in there 
and I'm right here right now and there's a reef in front of me as you can see and it's uh, going to be nightfall in just a minute so I'm going to go a bit further on and then I'm going to tack uh, to starboard and come down and uh, hopefully get myself somewhere down here we're in this triangle of nothingness here the shipping lines are down there reef ahead of me so I'm going to take a tack do a tack uh, tack down the other way towards Bundaberg hopefully in that area which is where I'm trying to get to um, and that, that should be uh, it for the evening and uh, we'll just take some uh, hourly naps I think tonight will be fine but we're going so slow and I think we're still gonna have problems getting down south again but at least I'm out to that place from over there so I'm feeling good about that sun is going down that means it's gonna be turby time turby you've been sleeping all day old friend <laughs> time to i'm gonna to have to do this with one hand this is this is me filming make us some electricity overnight will you thanks somebody tell him he's going the wrong way turby you're going the wrong way mate over here that's it there you go it shows there's actually less wind than i thought there was you can tell by him that's probably why we're not doing too well yeah it feels windier than it actually is whoa looking wet out here wonderful morning floppy sails and nasty nasty looking weather wonderful well you missed that couldn't film any of it, it went mental uh, it's like a big squall you can see it disappearing in the distance there uh, not the complete of course the wind has now changed to exactly the direction I want to go in so uh, I'm gonna have a cup of tea let that you know, warm up and stuff. I got, I got cold, I had to go below and put some more clothes on. Uh, yeah, so come up with plan B. I don't want to be anywhere near rocks and land at night. We've got the remnants of it, yeah. That's it down there. <laughs> I was just on this helm for an hour. Because <laughs> I got full sail up. Because it wasn't windy an hour ago. Now it was, I reckon it was 20 something, it was gusting over 20 something knots. Ah! Oh, uh, uh, there's more there, look. Oh dear. This is not, not fun at all. I haven't had any fun for a long time now. I haven't talked to anybody for a long time. I haven't seen any of my friends for a long time. Nobody, I, nobody else is here. I'm always in the wrong place at the wrong time time you think you're out here alone and also one of these guys comes past sports fisherman well, he's got a he's got one engine you know if that thing stops out here uh, he hasn't a lot of options oh no what's going on now that's another squall whoa that wind's just picked up I think I'm going to take some sail down in a minute, this is crazy. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that looks nasty. Horrible! We've got two reefs in the main. She's down to two reefs. Uh, it's still blowing, but I'm, I'm laying a hull, as it were, with the, with the sail billowed out and we're drifting sideways which is the way Shadia likes to sit in bad weather. She won't do nose to or stone to her. Uh, the 
this is fine, it's a comfortable heavy boat, we'll just sit here so I can have lunch now. But yeah, that was that was not nice. And I heard a big bang earlier, I don't know what broke. Something broke and I haven't found it yet. The master's still standing up right for now. I'm just gonna have to call those guys the rescue, volunteer rescue guys again. Now my master's falling down, can you come and get me again? But I looked at the weather yesterday before I left this wasn't this wasn't forecast. There's lots more squalls I can see them coming, so we're safe now. Let them come. Hold them. Don't know what happened to the guy in his speedboat. He must have seen me pull my sail down. The weather never looks as dynamic as it is in real life when it's on video. It kind of flattens the whole thing out. This wasn't dangerous or nasty. It was just more annoying. The wind was blowing in the wrong direction for me. That's why I was kind of hoped to. I'd got reefs around me, I got shipping around me, and then Turby decided that he was gonna to spin too fast, over rev, and the only way I could stop him was throwing a rope over him. And I've never done it before, but it worked perfectly. Uh, I didn't want him over revving, because uh, that could be dangerous and it could do a lot of damage. The sea is up now, and again, it's because I'm in an in enclosed space, I've got reefs, I've got a little man, I've got all kinds of stuff. Tonight. So we're just going to do what I did last night and try and do circles. Just the main up, two reefs in the main. So here's the news, ladies and gentlemen. If you haven't heard already, I have a new YouTube channel, Barry Sea Dog Perrins. It's dedicated to my music, and on that channel, I have a new song called Halfway. The song is all about my adventures. If you want to listen to the music and watch the music video, go over to Barry Sea Dog Perrins, check it out. You can also buy the download of the single to keep for yourself, so you can play it anytime you want to, and that in turn will enable me to buy a new sail, do maintenance on the boat, and continue my adventure. The download version of the song can be found at Bandcamp, that's my preference, or you can also get it from Apple or Amazon. All the links are in the video description. I'd like to thank my wonderful patrons for being with me for so long and supporting this channel in the way they do. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching. All live updates are on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter X. I'll see you next time on Adventures of an Old Sea Dog.